Why shouldn't I go to college? Who says you shouldn't? The question is, should you? The answer is no, you shouldn't. If you have a plan, you want to go to college. Should you go? No, you shouldn't go. College is not a good thing. It's really not a good thing. If you have a definite plan, you want to be a lawyer, so you got to go to law school. If you dafke, want to be a doctor, you have to go to medical school. But most of the things that you're going to learn getting there is bubamices, it's a waste of time, it's, it has nothing to do with being a doctor, it has nothing to do with being a lawyer. It's stam, it's nadish. It, the system is all messed up. And that's why everybody, goyim, who go to college, are frustrated. It's, it's a bad system. If there's a way you want to be a doctor, you go directly to medical school. That would make sense. But you have to go through four years of Nadishkeit before you can get into a medical school. It's a, it's a really ridiculous system. So basically what the Rebbe said, not to go to college, the Rebbe meant two things. Number one, people worshipped college. It's like, you have to go to college. They never wanted to destroy that Avedazar. You don't have to stop it. You don't have to go to college. That was the first thing. The second thing is, if you're not solid in your Yira Shamayim and in your Emuna, college can kill you. Because it's poison. It poisons everything. Basically, college says, nothing is true that's college it didn't start off that way but now that's what it is the whole chachma of college is nothing is true you can decide for yourself what's real and what's not it's pressure it's a sickness it's ridiculous and people are complaining goyim are complaining colleges are ridiculous so unless you're i just heard there was this guy a professor a who worked for the Pentagon, worked for the government. And most of what he did was highly classified secret. And they trusted him enough that he was involved in all the top secret projects, missiles and uh, spies and all sorts of things. But he asked the Rebbe before he went to college, he asked the Rebbe, and the Rebbe said, uh, before he took the job in Washington, he asked the Rebbe, and the Rebbe said, you can go on the condition that you, ha you learn an hour of chassidus every morning. So he did. For, I don't know, 30, almost 30 years. He worked in Washington for the government, and every morning he learned an hour of chassidus. I mean, the man was a genius.